something that is bothering me is that um, when I'm having multiple tabs with different pages, it's always showing Swiss Army Knife and that's not so helpful. So today I'm going to be changing my Blazor app uh, so that the page title is going to be changed when I change pages. So the first thing I want to do is to create a function and unfortunately uh, I have to use JavaScript for that. <laughs> but it's quite quite easy and I guess someday it will be supported by the framework but at the moment it is not. There is some uh, NuGet package but it's somehow old and I, I'm not sure if it's usable anymore. So it's um, just this we will we'll need to create a, a, um, a JavaScript function and yeah, I think in JavaScript it should be small. Not so sure. But um, after doing this I'm going to create a new component and this component is going to be called page infos and it's not going to be a page so it doesn't matter here I'll need um, I'll need to inject this IJS runtime because we are going to be calling the other function and it's just JS runtime and here um, it's going to receive a value so I can say that it's going to be and this is going to be the title so I can call it title like this and then I'll have to override the one after render a sync and Rider helps me doing this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call the function that was created previously. And I'm going to say invoke a sync. Uh, invoke, right. Rider is not helping at the moment, why not? Not sure. Void a sync. So and in this case I'll have to have the same. This is the, the function name. So I'm going to say use this one. And ah, I know I missing here like this. So and in this case I'm now missing the parameter. Oh it's going to be called and in this case it's going to be the title that is going to be given from the parent component. So the Invoke void this thing. Ah, I know it should be like this. So now it's working. Sort modifiers, yes, please. So and after doing this, it's quite simple. If I come here to the to the trackers, for instance, I can write this component here, and it's going to be called page infos and there is a title and I can call it trackers for instance like this so and if I come to time difference I'm going to do exactly the same and I can write here time difference and the same for the hash calculation and since it's not displaying anything it can be pretty much anywhere Ash calculation. So, and this should be enough. So, if I start it, so and if I if I start it now and I come to trackers, I can see now here that it's going to be showing trackers. If I come here and now I go to time difference it's going to be showing time difference I could call it Swiss army knife and something else afterwards but now I can I can distinguish between them 
did I use also no on the converters I didn't change anything. Like I but I can now see that these pages on hash calculation, this one is time difference and this one is for the trackers. Um and if I come here to to the header to the heads of the uh, HTML sometimes there are some other description that it's useful for instance the um, page description so if uh, you are using Google Analytics or something it might be helpful so that Google finds different pages with different descriptions so I can now um, head it here for instance I can say parameter and then do public string description and I'll have to create the a method to update the description so I can call it description and now I'll just have to create this function and now it's going to be a bit more in JavaScript so now it's going to be here the description and I'm still missing the tag so I don't have any tag description here I can just create it here and it's going to be named description like this and I'll need an ID or I'm going to use an ID just because it's easier to identify description ID and then there is uh, content I think um, I don't know here I'm not I'm just going to write to to be replaced so and in this case I just need to call here um, description is going to be uh, I think in JavaScript is let I'm not sure here um, I just have to go to the document and query selector I think it's like this and I can find the ID of this element and then just update it with content as like description so and this should be also enough so now if I come here I can say that the description is track your times something like this on the time difference is calculate time difference and on the calculation is um, calculate the ash <laughs> something like this so now if I start it again and it can be pretty much anything on the page can be changed like this so if I'm going to trackers and I'm seeing now the head I can see that the content changed to trackers as we just like we did just like I wrote here trackers it should be track your times actually description is not getting updated interesting ah yes I forgot something if I come to page infos it should not be the title but the description so start again so now if I come to trackers it should be something like track your times or here in the ash calculation calculate the ash and on time difference calculate time difference so that's what I wanted to achieve for today. I hope you liked. And um, if you liked, you can leave a comment. Um, otherwise, have a nice day. Bye.